Oh, and welcome aboard, one and all. It feels so good to be back. I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, welcome to the Steve Molesberg Show live from our New York City studios. Jack Abramoff will join us in this show. Bill Crystal will join us in this show. But first, hey, the Supreme Court today voted five to three, or they announced their decision five to three, striking down a Texas law regulating abortion clinics. You see, the law was so egregious and so anti-woman and so hateful, it wanted clinics to be regulated under the same standards as hospitals. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and it wanted doctors who performed abortions to have admitting privileges to hospitals. So in case something went wrong in the procedure to the woman, they have admitting procedures to a nearby hospital. How, how uh, yeah, misogynistic, how anti-woman, how awful, how disgusting. So now women could go to a subpar, I guess they'd have the same, uh, the same cleanliness as a veterinarian's office. And uh, I guess that's what women's rights means. Very good. Very good. The court also unanimously vacated the corruption conviction of former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald. So once again, we have what appear to be overzealous prosecutors going after Republicans, and in the long run, after their careers and lives are ruined, it's overturned. Now, uh, before we get to Bill Crystal, Elizabeth Warren was, dare I say, on the warpath today against Donald Trump? Watch. Donald Trump says, He'll make America great again. It's, it's right there. No, it's stamped on the front of his goofy hat. <laughs> you want to see goofy? Look at him in that hat. Oh, look at him in that hat. It's nice to make fun of uh, men's appearances and what men wear. Do it to a woman and you know what happens. And this woman is a vicious, vicious woman. Watch. When Donald Trump says he'll make America great, he means make it even greater for rich guys just like Donald Trump. Great for the guys who don't care how much they've already squeezed from everyone else. Great for the guys who always want more. Because that's who Donald Trump is. The guy who wants it all for himself. And watch out, because he will crush you into the dirt to get whatever he wants. And you see Hillary there? He, she's describing Hillary. Hillary who takes money from everybody, from countries that kill gays and abuse women. And she's at, oh my God, this is, like a, 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 this is like a comedy show. Don't let me tell you what kind of show I think it is. But oh my gosh. All right, Dianne Feinstein, when confronted on PBS about people being on the terrorist watch list without them belonging there, not being able to get guns, listen to what she said. The argument that many of your Republican colleagues have made about this is that there is still the potential that people who are innocent are on a watch list and they would be prevented from buying a gun. Well, uh, uh, then you can petition and prove that you're innocent and get off of the watch list. Prove that you're innocent. So if you're on a terrorist watch list or no-fly list and you're not a terrorist, it's happened to Ted Kennedy, it happened to one of my friends, eh, no problem, you just petition and you prove that you're, that you're not guilty. That's what America is all about, right? Proving that you're innocent. And how do you petition? How do you get off these lists? Senator Die Fi? Give me a break. These people are so corrupt and so out of touch. 